Today I'll be reviewing Boruto Chapter 42, Regeneration. So this was another action-packed chapter with Team 7 fighting Boro. And in the end of the chapter, we got Sarada debuting her Chidori. And we got some returning ongoing themes that go on in the Boruto manga. One of them being Kawaki's selective memory about he only remembers the most important things when we're on the verge of dying. And another one would be the Dragon Ball Z elements continue. First we were getting his giant blast attacks, now then we were getting regeneration. It's only a matter of time till somebody dies and they get revived via seven tailed beast. But Dragon Ball references aside, I think this chapter was pretty alright. The fight is dragging or it might seem that way because it's only a monthly series but I don't think we're gonna get too many Kara fights because or at least not too, too many Kara inner member fights because there aren't that many of them. So we're probably just going to get long fights with the very few characters we have. So let's talk about the actual chapters. It's, it was mostly just the fight, so not much to go over. So the fight starts with Borto, or the chapter starts with Boro going for Naruto's sealed jar to Lauren Kawaki. And then he releases the poison gas, a gas as a diversion, which were followed up by shuriken that explode on contact due to the mist having gunpowder in it. But then Kaoki still finds a way to protect Naruto's jar and then Boro calls him soft and says he'll have to retrain him. After that Mitsuki or Boruto and Mitsuki go at him and he completely wrecks them. So then Boruto tries his Rasengan which destroys his arm but then he regenerates himself like Cell. After that we see Sarada go in and she uses her shuriken which instantly get melted by his lava style. But that only served as a, as a distraction so that Mitsuki could grab him and hold him still so that Kaoki could land a major blow. Which finally takes out the second or the bottom half of his body. And after he regenerates himself again, Kaoki finally explains that they have a way to neutralize his abit ability halfway through the fight after they've already been nearly depleted of chakra and are basically dying. So he tells Sarada that every member of the Kara has been remodeled by Amato and that his scientific ninja tools that he creates all have a weakness. And their weakness is that the more powerful they are, the bigger the core they need. And now that I think about it, when we go back and look at Naruto's fight with Delta, she was able to bring herself back or transfer her conscience to another lab. It was probably due to her having a core in that drone that we saw flying above in the sky which is why she was able to come back completely intact. So I'm guessing they'll all have ways to revive herself. Delta keeps her, I guess her core inside that drone so that she'll always be able to revive herself, even if her body is completely destroyed. And Boro was able to revive himself by just moving his core around, which gives him the, the ability to regenerate his body. So Kawagi suggests that she use her Sharingan to find out where the core is. And while reading that, the first thing I, that came to mind was the Sharingan, even though maybe the Byakugan or I guess Boruto's Jogan would be better since it can see the chakra, the chakra network and what goes on inside someone's body. But I think that'll just be like foreshadowing because I don't think Kawaki knows about Boro or I guess no one in the manga verse, I guess, knows about Boruto's Jogan except for maybe Sasuke. Because he hasn't used the Jogon in the manga at all, so I'm wondering if we're going to get the debut of the Jogon anytime soon. Because if Sarada's Sharing Gun runs out and they don't hit the core, I think Boruto's Jogon would be the next option. Anyways, back to the chapter. So Boruto runs out, well, Boruto runs out of Rasengan's, I guess, because he says he can't use any anymore. And then Sarada is able to figure out that Boro moves his core while weaving hand signs. So... After Kaoki's one-handed Kamehameha, he gets back up, and Sarada realizes if he tells the others her plan, Boro will figure it out and that he'll catch on. So she decides that she has to finish Boro off herself. So she needs to use a jutsu that's faster than, than he can weave hand signs and that can penetrate his body. So she goes with the Ichidori, which she's been practicing under Sasuke's tutelage. And on the final page and on the final panel, we see that she lands the attack, and that's where it ends. I wonder if Boro is going to get up after this, or is it actually over? I feel like it should be over, but it might not be anyway. I'm thinking this would have to do at least half the damage, but 
Boros core, I'm pretty sure it would have to be completely destroyed or not destroyed at all. I don't think there's going to be like a middle area unless he has two cores. So random prediction for next chapter. Boro is either defeated, Sarda missed and he's still alive, or Sarda got him and he has two cores. In which case, if he does have two cores, I see a couple of ways of Boruto and the rest of Team 7 defeating him. But before we get to that, let's talk about Sarda Shidori. I mean, I think it's pretty cool that she learned Chidori for it was a Kakashi's Jutsu. He couldn't master it till he got the Sharingan from Obito in Uchiha. So technically, it's an Uchiha required Jutsu, or at least Uchiha or a Sharingan required Jutsu, I guess. So it's been passed on from Kakashi to then it got to Sasuke, and now it's at Sarada. And I really like how before she charges up the attack, or while she's charging up the attack, she says. Sasuke, give me, or, or dad, lend me your strength. I wonder how far Sarada will go with mastering the Chidori because Sasuke is better at the Chidori than Kakashi, even though Kakashi invented it, because, invented it because Sasuke was able to make variants like the Chidori Stream, Chidori Senbone, and then he evolved or advanced the Chidori by creating Kirin. So I'm wondering if Sarada will advance her the Chidori in her own way and maybe I guess Sasuke made the Chidori long range even though it was originally close combat. I guess Sarada will make it mid range or possibly even close combat with Taijutsu because she's able to use or she's inherited Sakura's immense strength. Another option would be her I guess learning the purple lightning which she would be able to handle better because as we know Sarada is only half Uchiha so she doesn't have the best control over the Sharingan because in the chapter if you look through some pages you'll actually see that before she charges up for the attack while she's thinking she actually doesn't have her Sharingan on so she turns it off and then back on when she's about to attack or when she's analyzing. She'll probably be in a situation similar to Kakashi's where she can't always or yeah where she can't always spam the Sharingan because she's not she doesn't have complete control over it or she doesn't have the chakra reserves or I guess genetic capacity or potential as a full Uchiha would. That also makes me think that think that Kakashi would be the best person to train her aside from Sasuke when it comes to learning how to use the Sharingan in like small segments instead of just going all out with the Sharingan because Sarada will not be as good as the Sharingan with Sasuke because Sasuke is a full Uchiha and she isn't. So because she doesn't have the potential of a full Uchiha, maybe she'll be able to better use or better utilize the purple lightning and just create variants of that. Because that's another one of Kakashi's Jutsu that he hasn't really like expanded on, but I guess she could since Sasuke isn't. But Chidori aside, another thing I want to talk about is Boro's core. So in this chapter, Kawaki's selective memory kicks in once again, and he explains to us that all of the Kara members had their bodies remodeled after this guy named Amado, including himself. So I guess he technically includes himself as one of the Kara members, or I guess a Kara creation. That aside, he says all the members are modeled after Amado. And he explains to us that the more powerful the ninja tool, the bigger the core. And as I mentioned earlier, I think we have three options or three possible things that could happen in the next chapter. One, Boro is defeated, two, which I actually think is highly unlikely, despite it's mostly because Sarada said that she basically has never tried it out in battle before and that she's just learning it. I guess that could be foreshadowing that maybe it's probably not going to work and that maybe the Shidori was just for the surprise element in this chapter. But I think either one, Boro is defeated, which I think is unlikely. Two, Boro or Sarada missed. Or three, Boro has a second core. And if we go with the, la or the latter two options, him having a second core or Sarada missing, I think the only other way we can take him out, because he'll be expecting a Chidori again, is with Mitsuki and Boruto. For and it's for two reasons one I think Borto he hasn't been doing much in this fight even though he's out of chakra I think we will see one thing from him Before this arc is over and that's probably The reveal of his Jogon in the manga because we've only seen it in the anime so far and not the manga And I think this fight 
is the perfect opportunity for him to awaken it. I know he said he was out of chakra in this chapter, but usually when things go bad for him is when the Jogon appears. Like recently in the anime when he was fighting with Shinki against Urashiki. I don't the Jogon is only part of what I think will help them win the fight. I think the other underlying factor that no one's been really talking about is Mitsuki, because we haven't seen Mitsuki use Sage Mode since, I guess, if we're looking at the anime and the manga, since the battle with Momo Shiki in the anime's version. And for the manga, we haven't seen him use it at all in the Boruto, in the Boruto era. Aside from the one chapter where we got his flashback, which Kishimoto wrote a while ago. I think the next chapter, or I guess one of the future chapters, would, would be the perfect time to debut both of them in combination to defeat Boro because it, basically we've done everything we can so far. Kawaki has been blowing his limbs off top and bottom. Sarada has been using all of her jutsu, her fire style, and now she's tried her Chidori. We haven't seen if that one's going to work yet. So this is all under the assumption that it doesn't work. But I think next in line would be Boruto and Mitsuki giving it their all because we've seen Boruto use the karma in combination with Kawaki and still that didn't even work. As a finishing move so I think the next step would be him using the Jogon in combination with Mitsuki's Sage Mode. I honestly think Sage Mode will lead to the victory in this battle but I'm not too sure because Orochimaru doesn't want Mitsuki using Sage Mode for one reason or another. I think it's mostly to hide the fact that Mitsuki is like completely artificially created and Naruto probably probably wouldn't approve of something like that. But you gotta figure uh, Mitsuki is completely like artificially created. I know the anime showed it and then the manga kind of contradicted. I guess the anime contradicted one day when Boruto and Sarada learned the truth about Mitsuki. Because in episode 73 they learned the truth and then a few chapters ago in the manga they learned the truth too. It's kind of weird. But they know the truth about Mitsuki that he's 100% artificially created. So I think they might as well go all out and show him using stage mode. The one thing that might hinder this plan from even happening is Boruto's lack of control over the Jogon. It's been completely random in the anime. Unless he's been off screen training it in the manga, I don't think he'll be able to just use it as soon as it activates, even if it, whether it activates or not. But technically we've seen him use Jogon as much, of, as, much as we've seen Sarda use Chidori in control. So I guess there's a 50-50 chance of either of them happening. Morito somehow managing to control a Jogon with Mitsuki using Sage Mode, as well as Sarada managing to finish off Boro, who's been impossible to defeat so far, with a Shidori that she's barely learned how to use. But all that aside, let me know you, what you thought of this chapter in the comment section below. Let me know what your predictions are. Do you think that one of my three options will be it? One, Sarada misses. Two, she lands and the fight is over. Or three, we get... There's a second core and Borto and Mitsuki have to team up to get rid of it. But let me know your predictions and your thoughts on this chapter in the comment section below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching and bye.